Hello everybody, welcome to the second round of the NAF kickoff event uh, tournament thing, whatever you want to call it. It's a 64 man tournament, I've lost the toss, diced again, that's really actually really quite sad. Uh, because my plan was okay, to win this in overtime. Hello, thank you very much, Fai Mate. So um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to concentrate and play this. It's like a NAF style thing, um, and PC and Fai Mate can carry can carry on take over, and uh, I will I will mute myself and concentrate Don't on playing. Don't forget to share your screen. I will do. Thank you very much because it's going to be a very tough match. So uh, choose and thank you very much, guys. Is PC already here? No. Or at least he's muted. I am. I'm ah, just no, finishing no. my dinner because it, you know, when I eat, it's it's horrible for people to hear. And it makes yeah, them like, click. Yeah, don't worry. Much. Okay, here we are. Second round. Second round? Well, another game of the NAF uh, tournament to qualify for the playoffs or the Global 3 tournament. Well, uh, uh, Pogler, thanks for asking. Uh, today I want to dedicate this game to our viewers in Monaco. Because if there is still that young widow, female young widow, that still wants to feel alive, darling, I'm still available. So just give me a call, contact me through Discord or whatever, come to the chat, darling. And I'll spend the time in the yachts with you. Other than that, is a. Uh, well. As classic as uh, it can be. Uh, dwarves versus uh, lizards. So this is going to be the dwarves not to die and kill the skins. I read that on Reddit. And I think it's a very valid uh, strategy. It is. It's very good advice. Um, Jimmy going with a very standard build here. He hasn't got a Slayer. Um, some people would put one Slayer in this build. But obviously two runners, two blitzers. Um, his five skills, he's taken three guard, a mighty blow dwarf uh, longbeard that comes, of course, with tackle. And then block on one of his runners. That's the only runner on the field for this drive. Um, dwarves against lizards traditionally very, very tough. Uh, it is one of those matchups where perhaps five guard would have Your been useful. Your mic is starting to sound uh, with a lot of static, PC. Okay. Okay, Paul, I stop trying to convince people that the Formula One uh, drivers play tabletop blue ball because it's obviously a lie. Right, I've unplugged and replugged. Hopefully that's a little better. Okay, that's much better. So yeah, just the three guard is gonna it's gonna be I mean it's great against other builds where you've got that mighty blow, you've got that um the runner more used as a safety with block. You're still hoping obviously if he's carrying the ball he doesn't get hit. But it gives you a piece that can move reasonably far and can hit people with block. Uh, and has AG three so it can dodge off. So that tends to be why you block up a runner. But here you do feel a couple more guard would have been useful. The lizards, of course, come with that very creative lizard build of Put block on as many sources as you can. And uh, the opponent, Junior 84, which I don't know who he is. Do you have an idea about his uh, opponent, the PC? Um, Junior 84, yep, yeah, reasonably well known international quality, um, decent international quality um, blood bog coach. Known very well on the tabletop scene. I don't think he's known particularly much on uh, Blood Bowl 2 or 3. But he's a German coach, um, yeah, well known on the tabletop scene over there, does a lot of that sort of stuff on Fumble as well. Oh, and that was a... a timeout, the kickoff event. So one turn uh, miss, which probably helps uh, Jimmy. 
Okay, stop the jokes, Abu Sumaka. For God's sake, you are all of you are going to hell. Yeah, absolutely. People is gonna read this. People are going to read this. I mean, I'm all for a little dark humor, but there's there's a line. <laughs> yes, there is a line. Do not cross in public uh, environment. And quite nice men suffering massive brain injuries is not something I would personally want to mock. But you know, each to their own. Now, Jim's going to have spotted here that the ball has landed right behind the line of scrimmage. Now, that does mean what we call a bobble box possibility. If it doesn't pick up, it can bounce through those sauruses and over to the dwarf side. It's a long shot, but it's a nice little long shot. There you go, with a hopeful uh, thinking. But there is oh. no sure hands. Only no, two rolls for the lizards. No apple either. No, and for some reason a chameleon skink. Yeah, yeah, when I saw the on the ball, I was like, what the... Well, I've never seen anyone take one other than a sort of 1200 build where you can afford a few luxuries. Because they're more expensive than normal skinks, despite being a little bit worse. Okay, uh, I'm not sure. I know there are enough rules, but I think uh, PC knows better the rules because... Um, I don't are know if it's 11.50, but the team... No, I didn't play it. I applied for a place and didn't get get one in the lottery. About half of us didn't, um, and I didn't. So it's it's only for tier one teams, it's only five skills. Hence only five blocks on five sauruses and a naked one. And only five skills on Jimmy's side. So it's it's a very mean... Um, rule set, if you like. Very, very low skill numbers. But yes, I believe they're building to 1150. Otherwise, we wouldn't see this many lizards. Oh my god! The Jimmy rolling all the dice here. Fantastic, that's what he needs. With a mighty blow. Not needed. And that's one Saurus gone. The weakest uh, one. Yeah, he wisely targeted the block Lasaurus as a weak point on this team. Um, obviously, two dice gives you a 75% hit with block on something that doesn't have block. Um, and took it out. So, yeah, good choice and rewarded. Oh, it's a the long way to the, the 5K, 5K, Christopher. The 5K is the total price pool. I don't know how much uh, gets the winner. They, they, haven't, they still haven't told grand. us yet how it's being divided. Wait, what? They haven't told us how it's being divided. <clears throat> or if it's being divided, or if it's all just for the person that finishes first. No one really knows. Wow, that's a... Uh... <laughs> that's very confusing. And if you win one of the two places available via this NAF tournament... You win one of the two places in the play-in tournament against the people that didn't finish first and second in the ladder. And then if you win the places out of that tournament, which is one in four, you go into the finals. Oh. So a long road ahead of Jimmy, but it is a route to money. Otherwise, he absolutely wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah, if it wasn't for the money, Jimmy wouldn't be playing this. In fact, the the return of investment uh, for the time, I guess that play working at Tesco's uh, replenishing shelves in the night shift gets you much more money than uh, this tournament. If you look at the total amount of time people will have put in by the end of the tournament, yes, I think. Yes. <laughs> I think stacking and shelves or working in grades. Let's not talk about the guy that finished sixth or something like that, so nearly plays as much as the winner. So there is a passion for Blood Bowl also involved here. In, uh, I mean, if it's Jimmy, they deny it. Now, of course, Lizards, with all the advantages over the Dwarfs here, they are stronger and they are quicker. 
So here we're seeing them swap sides, trying to outflank some of Jimmy's attacking. And Jimmy both trying to do some of that attacking and also, you know, get his forces back in front of where this ball's now gone. At which point yeah, they now... swap sides again. Jimmy has a... the follow a block here. Uh, this is more standard Jimmy Jim's dice. It's a very pushy turn. Well, since this is the price uh, to pay, by the way, to all our viewers, we will be until the 27th of November. Is the Steam sale, is the Black Friday, so there is a lot of games with discounts. And Blue Ball 3 and 2 are heavily discounted. 2 very heavily discounted, 3 30% discount. 30% yes. Which would be great if it was 70% finished, but it just isn't. I don't think it's even 30% finished. No, I don't either. Akeo, so Jimmy is uh, doing well. Sorry, I had to join. It's similar with CCL, it's an incentive, not a hand job. Is that what you're trying to type? I don't play the, the CCL at a different level. I genuinely never got a hand job for taking part in CCL. If I'd known that well, was an offer, I'd have tried harder. Truth to be told, truth to be told, I've heard a lot of people saying that the people that play CCL are a bunch of wankers. So... <laughs> okay, so maybe that's where it came from. So maybe, maybe, maybe that's the part that you know that <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> that does make some sense. <laughs> yes, yes. Right, the lizard's pushing very quick down this flank now. That's what I was uh, thinking. With two uh, Saurus out, even if the lizards try to, you know, uh, stall. Yeah, it's been it's gonna be very complicated because it's gonna be an endless pressure well, also, by the dwarves. Because Jimmy got very attracted to knocking over those two Sauruses in the centre, and it worked. Um, it's got a bit of decent on-field position in terms of numbers. He did leave this right flank of his very exposed. There's two free Sauruses that can just fly down it. The Crocs can come as well. Oh, sorry, three free Sauruses. Oh, he's also got to push oh. himself, which he won't love. Oh, well, well, well. Oh! Okay, so he's just trying to move the crocs, fine. Move it's, the crocs uh, down the line, probably. Yeah. But that push does mean, yes, that the Saurus can come inside that dwarf and finish up, and then the other one can come around the back side of it. And still get near the ball, and then there's two more skinks to come, no, one more skink to come as well. So, yes, but the end of the day, it's turn four, and the Lizards ideally want to score turn eight, maybe seven, but not giving uh, too many turns to the dwarves. And I don't know how they're going to be able to keep, uh, you know, without the risking getting the skinks hit at some point. Yes, just hit the skinks. Is uh, I mean, or uh, just injury cast the saurus. You know, much better than the skinks. You know, it's a professional. You know, any anyone can injure cast a skink, but to cast a saurus, just that's a professional level of uh, dicing. Oh, he's got. Oh, here comes, here comes the. Oh my God. Is that worth the roll? Yes. Mm. 
Jimmy was pondering if he hit in the, the shark or hit the other skink. To be in contact with the ball. Oh, nothing. This is, is going to be one of these situations where there is like a, that. That Saurus is going to absorb. I oh, know. Only an armor break, unbelievable. And Jimmy preparing now the blitz. Yeah, the really important thing here is is you're not going to stop this touchdown at this point, probably. What you Wait. need to do is put enough pressure on so that um, they score. And you don't lose too many more turns and you get a chance to drive back this half. I think uh, Jimmy did in blitz. I think you're right. But I was grabbing... That's interesting because he had uh, a few options for uh, two day hits. Ah, for the team. Oh, okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. For the team pass, for the team push, yes. Oh, he did for the surf. Oh, okay. All right. So we've got um, we've got one Saurus and three Skinks, which is definitely enough to score stall one more turn. Not without risk, but pretty safe. And that would leave Jimmy only three turns to drive back, which is very tight against Lizards. Yes, yes, I'm watching the, the stream and uh, Jimmy's uh, screen at the same time. And I don't know what happened uh, with uh, Jimmy's Discord, but is there any settings? I want to check the settings now, that, you know, that limit the upload you use when you're sharing the screen. So there's another string to Jimmy's bow. He's uh, already got them. They had no bench. They had no apo. And he's already got one Saurus off permanently. This already looks to me a lot like an overtime game. Sorry, everyone. But, um... Yeah. Unless Jimmy can put some real pressure on it this turn and drive back in three, which... Yeah. Can he serve the Saurus? Yes, yes, it's doable, yes. Yes. And having got pushes on the first one, I think he will probably now try to. Because if he can knock another Saurus off permanently, then in the long term, this starts to look good for Jimmy. Okay, here we go, Sardon and nothing. Oh, try no. you're so close. Okay, now. I think uh, one skink is going to get the punch in the face. Instant full pow. Nothing. No, not following yes, up there is sensible. Yeah, the, he's going for the stall. 
He's going to stall there in the left side of the pitch. Now, I completely understand why Jimmy didn't follow up there. I wouldn't have done either because the Saurus obviously hits you onto the side. Other skink stands up and then it's a very easy serve. Um, and Jimmy didn't want to risk that, but I would have dropped on the other skink straight in front of where he was. Just to make it either hit me or three plus away. Because this side swap stall looks fairly easy. There's not quite enough dwarfs back. But as I said, it's a choice. The serfs could have got him those those Saurus is dead. That means, you know, in overtime, it would have been uh, looking like a good situation for Jim. So I think that's what his choice was. As he's not going to stop the score to try and get the numbers even further in his advantage. Exactly, C Shark. Exactly. Yes, I mean, uh, chances to score are, uh, are gone now for uh, Jimmy, unless a uh, miracle happens. That more or less secure the at least. Ooh, well, that's a clear air roll. I think Jimmy is going for another skin. Or the Saurus? Oh, he's going for the Saurus? Yeah, I'd have been going for a skink here, I think. Tie the Saurus up, hit the skink. Nothing, but he can tie the Saurus, so there is always me at least one die if he or oh, now put in the guard there. Yeah, I think he'd rather tie that skink up on the edge where it's two three pluses without a reroll to get out because um, it just makes stalling that much harder. But he does need a little more on these lizards to stop them freeing one of them easily. Not going for uh, basing the ball. Tragedy. Everybody knows that the uh, base in the ball is winning the game. Hundred percent. To be beloved of the redditors, of course. And now I don't think the Lizas can stall another time. And they don't. They score. And there's one nil for the Lizas. Nothing new under the sun. 
but one lizard is out with an injury and the KO came back. I don't know which the two coaches uh, uh, are talking Sirgan because there is no chat in the <laughs> in Blue Ball Three. No, they might uh, be emoting things at each other. Maybe who knows? And the color rings are in game. Yes, a new innovation in the latest patch. You can now put colored rings under yours or the opponents or both teams. Which, you know, is a good step forwards. I'll give them that. In some ways, it aids clarity. At least it can be clicked off. All men, not worried about the blitz because the lizards are uh, too far away, and also he needs all the space he can get to try to score here. And here we go, what's gonna be the kickoff? Yes, every single square is vital here. What's gonna be the kickoff? I say. Ah, here we go. Cheering fans. Good, the game's crashed. Let's hope I can reconnect. Oh, game crash! Oh, oh. Steam pause. What an exciting moment for us all! Oh my God! What a high risk experience he's playing Blue Ball Three. <laughs> Okay, Jimmy's back. You need to share the screen again, Jimmy. All the best calls. Ah, there you go. And whip. And here they go. And that's the last reroll for Jimmy. 
and that was a turnover. Again, Jimmy failing at being a rolling the two plus. Basic skill of any coach. Jimmy trying to form the eye cage there where you have a guard in front and behind your supposed ball carrier. Here it's a ball target, not a ball carrier, but that was still the intention. And now the only thing that Junior 84 uh, needs to guarantee that uh, Jimmy doesn't score is blitzing the ball, uh, the ball cover, well, the runner. Yeah, the, one the one halfway up the right flank, not the one with the ball right now. Because the blitzer behind it isn't in range, so it's, there's only one scoring threat. Ooh, that's clearly your roll. What a square down. And that uh, shorts it out. Makes things uh, the next time much easier for Jimmy because he will have to think much less. Yes, I suppose so. Oh yeah, terrible reroll. The only roll he's gonna make in the the whole turn. There we go, your traditional elf wall is built ahead of people that can't score anyway. Quads. He should have been quads. And he wouldn't have lost the game. Even if he quads there, Jimmy would have a very complicated turn anyway. But yeah, maybe he would have moved the other pieces first. Yeah. Which we always say to do, but you don't know what's in someone's head. They might be thinking, actually, I've got use for all of those, but I need to do this blitz first been in that position myself this evening so okay, I'm gonna grab a can of coke So we face the second half, of course. Jimmy's still with 11. Right. Oh, just some time. Quick snap. Yeah. It's not super useful for dwarves, but of course it just does tighten up the defence. Gives you a chance to address any gaping holes.
I think I'm going to lose my turn here. <laughs> Just because, you know, the game's shit. But, um... Let's find out. No, didn't. Amazing. Amazing. That was a very weird message that appeared in there. The, the end of the turn 8 of the lizards at the beginning of the turn 9 of the war, so... But everything is alright. Now Jimmy only needs to kill another couple of uh, Saurus and this is done. It's a very vital phase here. Jim needs to obviously to score this drive, which means he needs to stabilize nice and quick and start looking for opportunities to get forwards. A lot more time than the last drive, but it still does need to get done. Uh, well, this is a tournament, so yes, there is overtime here. Also, uh, I mean, uh, any tournament must have uh, overtime rules. Jimmy managed to roll a scout and pick up the ball. Again, that was a two plus. There is a patch tomorrow. Steve, where do you get that information that is a Blood Bowl 3 patch tomorrow? Okay, I'm reading that the Jimmy Spitz used a thick uh, skull, but the injury was a six, so... Anyway, back to the game. I'm not going to pay attention to the, the text that appeared on the screen. Jimmy just had a little bit of a mess here. I mean, he's got the ball nice and safe, but he does need to... You know, he's only got four loose dwarves. So that's enough for three loose dwarves. That's just about enough to keep it safe, but it's not a lot. I wonder if he's looking at ways to sort of leverage one out. He needs something to happen. Even an armor break will be a yeah. 
a stun can give you that momentum back, but at the moment he's a little stalled up and looking for something to happen to make it all easier. Okay, that, uh, that will do too, yes, that will do, yes, that's uh, two Saurus out. And that means a lot more of free space for the dwarves. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going very well for Jimmy, isn't it? We're um, getting those numbers down to the Sauruses. Sorai. Yes, but this is not one uh, Saurus up. This is two Saurus up for uh, yeah. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy took a risk there with the red dice with the... Croxigor, but it's a 70% chances of not getting a skull with a block. Oh. Okay. Not particularly tragic. There is a chain to free the Croxigor and the Saurus behind the Croxigor. Yep, that's that's certainly true. Not sure what you do once you freed them. I mean, the lizards. This is looking very bleak. Is I think the Croxigor is okay where he is. I was thinking at the same angle, but also mainly about rescuing some of those orcs in that big line of nonsense from the ball carrier straight up to the crocs. What if you roll like that, monsieur? I mean, he can also put the crocs in contact with even more dwarves. That maybe was a mistake activating the Croxigor. Double bow, there we go. Closing the door. That was opened by the side. People were saying earlier that um, it'd be lovely to have. Oh, there you go. Ball is based. Well, it's based by a Saurus, so this is actually <laughs> yes. uh, relevant. Jimmy has to invest uh, two dwarves to push. Is uh, Jimmy two dice? Which could have been followed with another two dice block, but uh, 
which is going to be, sorry, following by another uh, 2D. Yep. It's the Pau. So I know it's a tiny thing compared to the bigger problems, but I do miss on Blood Bowl 2 that players would just move around a little more. If someone dodged past them, you could see them you know, fail to make the tackle. I know you do see that very occasionally in Blood Bowl 2, but mostly you're just looking at a bland, colourful mess. Well, it's like looking at the plastic miniatures on a tabletop. Yeah. Or metal miniatures. Oh, I'm not sure anyone uses metal anymore. Very old school. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, there were some pieces in Blue Ball 2 that moved way, way too much. The war dances were absolutely uh, annoying. I think the outside companies are the ones that do uh, metal uh, miniatures for uh, that can be used for blood gold but i think this workshop is all all plastic nowadays A lot of thinking in this, they're both very cagey with it, aren't they? Question is that the lizards don't have that many resources with two Saurus out, you know, to make any mistake and leave any spot because the skinks are not going to be very useful versus pieces with the everybody has tackle. No, but all of a sudden, if the ball does pop loose, then you've got some AV. Low AV but high movement pieces to screen or to grab it. So keeping some back and using them when you really need them does make sense. Okay, will he try to activate the Croxigore again? I think he should uh, activate <coughs> and not do anything. Yeah. Well, the worst that happens is it's exactly as it is now. So you, you have to try it. Yes, try to activate, but don't block. Because if you want in nine, oh, that's a very good result for uh, Jimmy there. I don't agree with this uh, decision, but seems that the result. Oh my God. Wait, did the apple fail? Yes, the apple fail. That's... That's bad. Now Jimmy has a good shot here at uh, finding a way to try to advance. Yes, you'd have thought up either flank really there's this space to advance. It's how safe can he make it if he goes that way. But he's still got a few turns on his side. We'll see if he feels the urgency's there. That helps a lot. Yeah, the armors. He's getting all the armor luck I didn't get all day. And that's a stand that is uh, extremely useful.
Why is uh, Jimmy activating the hand off action every? Um, because it automatically comes up every time you move your ball carrier. If you don't select something else, it selects ah, hand off. Right. Oh, I don't know, Jimmy. I don't know if the, the hitting those skinks is a good idea. Well, that was three ones in a row. The skull and the two and the armor uh, roll. But still, Jimmy's in a very good position now. Very strong push up this flank. Very few lizards left to try and stop him with their huge move and strength. One of them tied up right down backfield. Every right to feel some confidence here. Two Saurus out, one Dwarf out. Oh, this is a... We're going to end up with sevens. I will declare handoff or I will declare pass. Okay. Yes, then I'm going to work out how to do it because you tell lies. Here we go. Oof. He's not using, he's not gonna use the skins to put uh, some pressure around. The two skins that were at the bottom uh, right, I thought they were going to be, you know, hovering uh, close the to the ball. Likes. Yep. And now uh, the Croxy Gore, and you have to eat that. And now you have Frida. Oh, and the Wolf with Guard. And now Jimmy has a very interesting path towards the top right of the screen. Yes, I mean, reasonably untroubled. I mean, obviously there's a couple of sauruses in the way and some skinks around, but a casual glance will tell you that it looks like Jimmy... <coughs> excuse me, it looks like Jimmy's got the numbers. <coughs> and with the crocs on the floor, there's never a better time to get upfield. Which way Jimmy wants to go? Just settling for a single step in the end. Of course, you can't really sideline cage against lizards because the skinks will just come in and uphill surf you. But progress is being made, and most importantly, perhaps, is leaving that troll behind. Unfortunately, the chameleon is king. Wait, uh, he has follow? Yep. Uh, well, sorry, it was the, the skill that the shadowing, shadowing. Well, that's the shadowing. Oh, sure. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. And slowly but surely, Jimmy is guaranteeing uh, his advance towards the touchdown line. Maybe he has the chameleon skin that has on the ball for the one turn attempts.
Does on the ball actually does anything useful? It's kick off return. So, yeah, maybe, yeah, you know, for uh, making the one turn a little easier. There you go, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy explain it. And once again, I'm, I, I was right. Yes, so it's a skill that in the past were uh, also one skill because nobody took a pass block. So now it's like a skill and a half. Yes, because in the past people will get a kick of return because they couldn't get guaranteed extra movement. Yes, it's only useful in the, for the kickoff because it gives you up to three movement. But after that, you are slower than the regular skin. Nice uh, pushes there, uh, so win a uh, ball domination there. Yeah. And that's a skink out. Absolutely terrible turn, and then had to burn a reroll like just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Ugh. Well, based on our previous experiences with this kind of turns, that means the next turn uh, Jimmy is gonna get rid of another Saurus. Yes, two turns, but the the, uh, the listers only have one Saurus able to do anything uh, relevant. He has to move the skins back at least a little.
Now, the problem the Lizard has is that he needs to close uh, holes, but he has to use his kings. Oh! Oh! Okay, we didn't have to wait for another turn. My prediction fulfills again. That's not the result that Jimmy wanted. But he's going to be able to cage. Exactly. Exactly, Cisark. Now there is an extra long beard that can uh, move back. Oh, I know what Jim is thinking. He can ponder the idea of a red dice, the Croxigor with a dwarf, because even if it's a skull, the Croxigor is still a... Yes, I didn't. I didn't want to run so far to the right. <laughs> Seventy-five percent knockdown with mighty blow would have been nice, wouldn't it? And then could have had a totally safe ball that was in range. Now the best that the Lithas can get is a one D on the ball with the skinks and involve some dice rolling. Absolutely irrelevant uh, role that should have not been made. That's the nervous uh, blocks, uh, Rainer. That's the ones that people that, you know, before doing the big things, trying to steal their nerves. Yes, 3 3 5 with uh, two rerolls. Which. I don't nah. think he will use the it, the the, cro the, cro the saw split is better, right? Because that the five plus then gets you a two D, so that's just better than three three five. So we'll go for the saw splits. Doesn't re-roll it? Wow! Wow! Interesting. Now Jimmy can hit some skinks. Come on. 
Come on. And here we go, one in 36. Not needed. And now the problem comes with the... Jimmy trying to avoid the one turn. Yeah, that was very unlucky. Seems we have PC back uh, among us. Yep. Just got to keep an eye on various things around the house, so I'm coming going a little bit. Yes, strings are fast enough to to get the one turn done. I'm, I know there's overtime, but I'm pretty shocked you didn't re-roll the 5 plus dodge there, I think. If you make the 5 plus, you win, right? So, yeah, that I mean, was a almost. 50%, well, that was a 50% for a 50% of the, well, the push would have forced you to do another GF5. So, I think it was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should have rerolled the hit on the skink, you know. Like, but then of course I wanted to save my reroll for the overtime. If there was no overtime, I would have rerolled the hit on the skink, right? So that's interesting. But I, I really needed the power on that skink so that I could have just fully safely caged. But never mind. Hopefully, it's overtime. <laughs> Wait. Well, we expect there to be overtime, don't we? Whether there actually yes. is or not. Yes. Why, why um, is there... Oh, well, no, what I mean is um, he could get a riot, right? He's not going for the one yes. turn, but there could be a, whatever a riot is, timeout. He could get a timeout. Oh, they might have changed the rules, Jim. I hear they <laughs> Yeah, they could have changed the rules mid-tournament. <laughs> not, not shy of changing the rules mid-tournament, the NAF. I mean, I know yesterday <laughs> overtime was programmed and working, but is it today? <laughs> even if it was then, is it now? I mean, who knows? Hmm. Thanks, C Yeah, yeah. If only I could have done that in Era BB as well. Eh? <laughs> and Jimmy uh, managed to get another reroll. Yeah, everything's stacking up for Jimmy. It's just here for the drive, though, time. right? This 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 reroll is just for the drive, isn't oh, it? Oh yes, yeah, it is. It's a drive oh, reroll. Okay, okay, so okay, okay, okay. I will not be able to keep it if uh, if rerolls refresh. <laughs> like you know what I mean? I got to be careful. Make sure I, I know I've only got two. This is funnily enough an area where you could exploit the thing. I could take a screenshot and say I had three, right? And if I wasn't streaming it, there would be it would just be his word versus mine. So that's uh, that's pretty that's a pretty shit thing about the NAF thing there. Who would have known that they hastily changed halfway through the uh, tournament rule had flaws with it? But um, yeah, I could I could screenshot this and just say I haven't used a reroll, and it would just be his word it versus mine. It is unthinkable that you know changing things halfway through a tournament would create any problems, isn't it? It's just <laughs> unforeseeable and unthinkable. <laughs> yep. All right, so that was it. That was a very quick uh, fail. No, I, I missed. I, I, there was anticlimactic. I missed whatever happened. He missed the hit and didn't the go for the goal. Uh, Fagadar.
Okay, it's crashed again. <laughs> fantastic. Uh, oh, fantastic game. Oh my god. Top quality finished video game. <laughs> By the way, uh, I just want to say that Slay, Slay the Spire is now in a... There is a mobile phone version and it's six quid on the store right now. And I got it and actually it's a fantastic game. Nice. The back, that's nice. And Oh yes, yes, it's uh, working, it's working. I won the just toss as well. to see that turn over again. Yeah. Yes, you won the toss, Jimmy. We'll see. You need to also you need to share the screen again. <laughs> Fantastic. There we are, all oh. good. So he's down to ten. So it is, is. eleven versus ten, but obviously I'm down the guard, but he's down a Saurus, which is pretty good. <laughs> it is very good. And actually, you know, Whilst you probably would put the guard on, you maybe lead a, lead, would leave a beard off for the second runner in this drive anyway, so I think Jimmy's in a decent position. Well, receiving the ball is always good, but the format yeah. of this... Uh, the format of uh, this overtime is the whole half. Yes, all eight so, so we are going to reach turn 24 one way or the other. And another one of those beautiful decisions that Games Workshop made. This isn't the Blood Bowl 3 thing. They decided that uh, rather than overtime being gold and gold, it would last for the full eight turns. God, did we Hell both get a reroll off that kickoff? Because he only started on two, and I'm sure he rerolled re something, didn't he? Or was that in the first half? Did he not reroll anything in the second half? I don't remember. No, doing it, was, it, was no it, it was. He ended the half with two. Yeah, but I know he ended the half with two, but did he gain one from the kick? From no. the cheering no. fans? No, it was no, you. you did, he didn't. Okay. What happens on a draw now? Do both get one or did neither get one? Uh, neither. Mm. Same with the prayer to Nuffle. Yeah. Well, I mean, that it is just a prayer to Nuffle, isn't it? Now it's so weird. It's a fucking pretty shit game, if you ask me. But, uh, what can particularly do? brilliant, of course, that um, you, know, you can look up a complex rule, get excited about what it is, roll the dice, and the answer is nothing happens. <laughs> yeah. Great piece of rule making there by Games Workshop. Yep. Oh god, All right, so just gotta get this drive done. So yeah, so it's actually two. I've actually got two re-rolls. I've just gotta remember that I've only got two because the game is shit. Just think of re-rolls as if they're your gas, Jim. And you can't step on it too heavily. Um or is the, it is the nitros, the nitros from the Fast and the Furious cars, you have two nitros. That, yes, that Jimmy already has the... Not a wordsmith. Lovely man, but not a wordsmith. Okay, brilliant coaching, and uh, who gets the rolls? <sighs> Where are they? fucking diced. Yeah, that one goes to the lizards, and they do get to use it. That's a real, actual reroll. It exists, and it's real. And look at that ball there. Yeah, it's exactly where you would want to put it. And now the festival of pushes that the probably guarantees three pushes. Rashad guarantees a that one was on you for a player gone. I think they're all going to be pals. That first push was on you, hundred percent. Here come the pals. Here come the pals. Pals. Wah, wah. One. See? It's got to believe. It's all about confidence.
<coughs> Excuse me. Long way to go just for a one die and a push. Not the most effective line of scrimmage attack I've ever seen. No, 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 no. Not the worst either. So we are there in a the middle ground. You're right, Dimmy. I fully confess it was the team name and indeed my successful choosing of both Underworld and Thulian that won me the tournament you're referring to. It definitely wasn't my play. However, you and Andy losing, that definitely was your play and not down to your team name. Colored Ring Sea Shark is the um, Cyanide's latest way of coping with the fact that no one can tell what the hell is going on in their game. So they put different colored rings under the different positions in each team. You can turn it on for your own team, or their team, or both teams. So yellow are uh, long beards. Green, Light runners. green are runners. Complicatedly, blitzers are also yellow. Darkest. Darker, a little darker, yellow. Or, or uh, clearer, yellow. Are they? I mean, I suppose, I'm guessing you're right. I don't know. I'm not sure my eyes are good enough to tell. The one with guard at the top uh, right is Yeah, that Chabrisa. does look a little more yellow, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like a different yellow. Looks slightly more vibrant, you might be right. The other's a little dirtier yellow. Like closer to orange. I prefer mine dirty. The... yes. Yes, uh, there is the thing that... Uh, well, if, if you need rings to identify the Lizard's uh, players, you need help. You need help. If you don't know the difference, if you look at the screen and you don't know what's a Saurus, what's a skin, and what's the Croxigor. Oof. And yes, the point is they look like the miniatures, but they also sell a lot of customizations. So this will be easier to get your uh, figures, you know. Yeah, it's one looking of the great different. of Blood Bowl 3, isn't it? I mean, the, the, the actual figures are fantastic. They are exactly like the tabletop figures. Um, they look really modern and up-to-date. They look really good. They just don't work very well in the game. It just isn't very no. clear. And uh, like in the well, uh, Wage Wars of Games, where you can more or less customize a little your miniatures, yeah. you should be able to customize your uh, miniatures here in a relevant way, not adding a bracer that you are not going to be able to see at all. There is an occasional one, to be fair. I saw a, what they called the Flaming Chaos Warrior the other day, who comes with flaming horns. Um, that does look like you could see it across the field. So, But that was a, a thousand warp stone for the one outfit, um, which did seem quite a lot to me. She was looking very controlled here. Of course, he hasn't actually picked the ball up. Um, which oh, he here comes the picking here up the ball. The magic one in nine. Oh, and it is off. Goodness me. Oh, my God. Now, it could have been worse. I had a game earlier where it was thrown right into the worst possible place on the pitch. Here it's come straight in, uh, but it is available. I think the skinks are too far back, having set them very defensively. I don't think there's much the lizards can do here, but I might Yeah, be the lizards don't have much chances here. Who's going to... Who made, who made the bed? The... Oh, I see we have Dr. Hellboy here among us. What an honor to have an actual real doctor. 
it's fantastic. Very smart, it's very a educated PhD man. PhD about the spiders. Yeah, no, no, I must correct you there. It's about tropical spiders. Ah, sorry, you tropical bit, spiders. Yeah, uh, you get bit by a specific. Yep, a subtropical spider. He is absolutely useless to you. Well, no, you had uh, your moments of glory during the, your uh, singing career. I mean, uh, filling stadiums, making videos, and all that. You're an icon in the Blood Bowl community. His Blood Bowl songs are legendary, but I, you yes. know, I do think probably getting his doctorate probably was higher up his list of things to do in life. Who can say? Who can say? That's... that's uh... A wild now, guess. Now in that awkward position of having completed about eight years of education, he might have to actually find some form of job. Well, the new uh, Sony Spider-Man Spider Universe movie, Madame mm -hmm. Web, has to deal with a spider in, in the subtropical area. So, you know, the Dr. Hellboy uh, playing the long game, knowing that the, that aspect was going to be famous by a movie. Yeah, but again, you said it was a subtropical spider. I would again remind you, he would need to call a friend on that one. Well, subtropical or tropical? They, they say in the, in the trailer, they say Amazon, which is... Oh, in no, a, I think, yeah, I think that in counts In Hollywood as movies, the yeah. Amazon is more or less Mexico all the way down. I think that counts as tropical. I think Hellboy would be useful. Make it? He was already a villain. And going with the pickup with the with the Saurus makes perfect sense because if it bounces. Is it still next to the ball? Yeah, I mean, it was the only thing that could get there. It did get there, so he did manage to break this trap and get something to the ball, um, which he'd have been very happy with. And yes, it's a long shot to pick it up, but had it worked, oh my goodness. Oh, yes, as, yes. As you yes. said, even on a fail, it, it guarantees it's somewhere in its tackle zone. So, really a shot to nothing there. And now Jimmy has to deal with it. Uh, Q Farmer, I think uh, if you are not in Jimmy's Discord, you can ask uh, around here. Someone around here must know. Jimmy will tell you. Uh, oh, there you go. There you go. There was a. Jimmy, of course, not only looking at how does he get this ball clear and pick it up, but where does he then go where he isn't resacked? That's not the result that Jimmy was looking for. No, it definitely isn't. And uh, it was a very big problem because he oh. needs to get something here because there is a skink yeah. close he, to the ball. Absolutely. He urgently needs more cover on that ball. Um, a four-plus pickup from a skink is... Certainly something we'd see the lizards try. So it's to either cover the skink or cover the ball more. In an ideal world, maybe both. Jimmy Clint's in his uh, bad cheeks. With every roll. I just thought that was something you thought he did anyway. I see. You think it's specific to the blood ball, his blood butt cheek clenching.
There you go, there you go, there you go. Uh, Dr. Hellboy with the reference to the reference of the reference. Which is uh, using the fake Crystal Hunter voice. This is the voice that Sean Connery played uh, Chanter in a movie. Sean Connery, ah, Mr. Fantastic. Did you really think that you could chew? You could win another NAF game on this platform. It's funny because in Spain, you know, the movies are dubbed, so we have Spanish voices, and the Spanish voice of Sean Connery is extremely iconic. So I was really surprised. Well, it turns out it doesn't sound like that at all. And everybody was making jokes about that stupid accent. And I was thinking, wait, what? One of the most iconic voices of Sean Connery, oh my God. And then I heard the original voice, and I was like, yeah, I can see the point. Uh Especially as he was getting older and older, and he cared less and less. Yes. I had a friend who was once Kevin Costner's bottom, um, rather than Sean Connery's voice. Odd the things you end up doing in the world of acting. In what movie? In Prince of Thieves, the famous bottom scene where he's uh, swimming down in the creek. Wasn't his bottom at all. It was oh. my friend. Oh, the one with the tree that would chop down. Yes. But lots of press was made over his lovely And the Sheriff of Bob Nottingham is what the name of the actor? The one that was uh, also in uh, Harry Potter. Uh... Oh, um, and uh, Hans Gruber in, in Die Hard. Yes. Um, uh, Alan Rickman. Yes. Lovely man. I met him a couple of times when I was training. We still make uh, use quotes in Spain with my pals uh, of that movie when they uh, the guy goes like, uh, cancel Christmas. Yes, yes to get no away with the line and babies. cancel Christmas uh, yes. in a serious film, I thought was some of the classiest acting I've seen. And we, when he goes with the woman and says, and bring a friend. Yes. And you, come half hour later. Yeah, 10 o'clock, you, up as 10 and bring a friend. Yeah, lovely, lovely lines. Apparently a, a good half of what he did ended up on the floor because Costner was in charge of the edit. And it was obvious he was completely stealing the film. Yes, the Rickman story about that, those lines, is that he wrote the, the role and all that, he was reading the thing, he was like, oh my God, my lines are absolutely horrible. So he contacted, he contacted, that's Kevin Costner calling PC to tell him to shut up. Uh, he contacted a writer, a screenwriter, a woman that was a friend of him and told, look, can you fix this? And she was the one that added all those absolutely epic one-liners. Which is the best part because people remember that movie from Alan Rickman, Morgan Freeman, and the song. And the fact that there was there was another Robin Hood movie the same year. And now back to the game and uh, I think we can all agree that it's a very complicated situation here for Jimmy. I think Jimmy needs to base the chameleon skin. I think right now, right now, the, the equity is uh, looking towards the lizards, mostly because they are closer to the touchdown line. I have no idea, Christopher B. And I don't know what's the intended use and what will happen. Those are a completely uh, different things we were talking about, the, the situations. 
And there you go. Turn 20. Quick equity is dead. Oh my God. You can drop the GG. There is no chat equity, no kick equity. This game, please just kill it. Close the servers. Best of 5d6 rolls, no modifiers. Oh, here comes, uh, there is a chain here. No, 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 there is a... The ball is going to move. Not horrible. Oh, you have to eat that, mate. Oh, yeah, no, you have to oh. oh. Remember, one of them isn't real, is it? He got another one from uh, the kickoff event. Ah, yes. He has three actual rerolls. All from that pickup, which was predicted widely to be a one in nine. Has yes. Led, has led to this bugger's hand grip. And now he's going to bounce the ball again. This saucy muddle. They're saving the rerolls because you can use more than one reroll per turn. Yes. So if you suddenly get an opportunity to do something good, you can use your multiple rerolls. Uh, no, they do not count. If it comes to the end of the game, it's just a straight... Well, it's a straight dice off. Weirdly, in the rules, it says you roll 3d6 one at a time, and then it's the best two out of those three. But essentially, it's just flip a coin. Yeah, you can add as many D6 as you want. <laughs> yeah. If both players, both coaches roll the same thing with the same modifiers, it's a coin flip. So there is oh. no more equity. Yes. I don't know why he activated the Croxigod again. That's... Yeah, I, I'm not sure I would have done. I mean, I guess the fact that it isn't right on the ball... But it's still somebody doing something handy, holding lots of dwarfs up. And there's a turn over there. Now, the absence of that cross could give Jimmy the leverage he needs here. Just because now he has much easier uh, getting to the ball. Yes, I mean, several dwarves are now not based. Several have roots that weren't open beforehand. I think activating that cross was pretty horrific. But I get why, you know, had it activated and just got next to the ball, that would have been a lot safer. The mistake of uh, Junior 84 getting a Croxigor without the block that everybody knows Croxigor strong comes with block. Well, as I said, it's the paucity of skills offered to them, my friend. They were only offered five skills in total for Tier 1 races. That's not even enough to block up all the Sauruses, let alone to throw something on the extremely unreliable cross. I know, but the cross figure block is like the Wardancer Mighty Blow. It's implied. It is, yeah. It's, it's implied. It, it should be there. Well, and it rhymes, and he doesn't want to block Crocs. As we all know, things that rhyme are better than things that don't. I don't know, that sounds very random. You are killing the fan with that random statement. We don't like random things in uh, Blue Ball. Now. <laughs> well, we do, but only if they're the same price as non-random things. That's the... Uh... He has freed one of the runners, which has... This time managed to pick the ball up and make its way away from the... The mall. The ruckus. Now, the problem here no, is he that... He needs to offer some yeah. support to the other Lonely Dwarf with the other uh, runner. Again, maybe taking that block wasn't sensible from Jimmy. It does allow one of the Sauruses to free the other uh, one. And now he one in nines the... Yeah. The dodge. Of course, if he hadn't taken that two die and just left them both on the Sauruses, they would have to have dodged off. But now it's just a simple push to free one of them. 
But of course, a pal would have put him in a stronger position. So it's always gambles. Easy to be wise after the fact. I'm being wise. He shouldn't have taken that block. What Junior is doing with this random block over the other side of the field before he does the important things? I don't know, but it's not the um, first time that he does that. That's it. As I said answers, many times, you see this on a, a lot of coaches is when you try to, you know, prepare for the big yes. ones. You do the, yeah. like, okay, okay, I need to, it's like having a cup of tea. It's a cup of tea. Yes. Or like cleaning the pipes before you go out with a pretty girl. I, I get it, but it's still not, to me, the smartest way to behave. And now the situation for Jimmy to score is looking very dire. And I'm being, ge being generous, calling it di dire. A nice word, though. I'll give you that. Particularly for a non-native speaker, dire is a lovely, lovely word. Unless, of course, it's Danny Dyer, in which case it isn't. I remind you, yeah, I, I earn my income through the use of vocabulary. So I need to know some random words. That's a good one. Words. That's, that's, I like it. Now, this is a problem for Jimmy. The, uh, the skink does have the ball, but there is a free tackle door lurking right nearby. Well, and then the skink goes and kills himself. Yeah, that was, again, trying to get away from that door. It's pushed the envelope and pushed it to the point where it burst. In case you're thinking there aren't any skinks left on the field, there are two, but they're both just on the ground. Looking like dead smurfs. Okay, now Jimmy, if Jimmy managed some way to grab the ball. Still a long he has way to a go, but very it's not direct impossible. path towards victory. Yeah. It's a lot of go for it, but it's you know, it's possible. I hear that some people can do go for it and they work. And again, that non-activated -activated Crocs is the uh, is the problem for Junior there. Whoa, this time again, another pickup. Heart attack there. Okay, Jimmy is in range. He's got two turns, and I don't think he's got any re-rolls left. I think the one that it shows is not allowed. Well, we'll see when it happens. Now, the Lizards can try to do some epic rolls to... Uh, move back and interfere well they just need to actually push the runner one square further away don't they or is it two two it's because it's a 15 big, away so it needs yeah if you push him two squares away, he can't score. So one square would do it. Now, there is another possibility here. I know what I would do um, if I was the Saurus right over on the other side, which he loves just activating. I would blitz that dwarf off and run into the backfield. No other dwarfs will be able to keep up, and the runner has to make the pace. Therefore, the runner will outpace the other dwarfs and allow you a two-die hit on it. Now I want to see. Uh, but he has he got a blitz. Yeah, he's freed the crocs, but the crocs cannot reach the ball. So this is the one I would have been blitzing with and dropping back, which he hasn't done. 
I think that's a mistake. Well, the Croxigor finally achieved something in his career. Oh, and what a result. Which now makes the... Now it's a four plus to dodge off. No re-rolls for that, of course. And still need three, three GFIs. And the skin can move. That's Under creating one, more... Yeah, probably more bother next turn, but... I still would have dropped that to Saurus back, personally. I think that's a more reliable way to do this. There are ways Jimmy can get this free, but he still needs to roll a lot of dice without any re-rolls. The draw is um, definitely still the gambler's favourite right now. Well, he can one die the... No. He can red dice the Crocs figure, which is a 70% with block of not getting a, a skull, which is better than the 4 plus uh, dodge. Well, if he's willing to one die the Saurus just to the left of the ball area, then he can get uh, oh, yeah, two yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. He can get two die on the Crocs, but it's a one die needing push into two die. That's how I would try this. Let's see if Jimmy sees it. Who's the other guy with the Spanish accent? It's Faemir. I've been doing this for ages. He's estado aquí años ya. Oh my god. Okay, he's turned that hit into a two, but it still gives him the guard, which is going to give him nice one die on the cross. Not from there. Oh yeah, okay, because he did cancel the skin. So this is the one die. Oh, Good gets enough. it. And now it's just three GFIs. Though there is that skink to worry about. So Jimmy will push to the left. I think he could have got another step to the left rather than just two in. <laughs> I don't think the skinks don't need to worry about the skink knocking him out of bounds. Okay, here we go. Do the GFIs now, Jimmy. You have to do the GFIs. Oh, that's beautiful now. That frees another uh... Frees another one which can get onto this um the skink. The skink so makes things a little more complicated. Jimmy sensibly enough put himself only seven away, so if the skink just uh, goes for two uphill and knocks him one square further, he is still in range. It's going to be another Saurus dot for the 2D. Yeah, that's why this I time that's... I see it in a better... Uh... Under a better light. Yeah. See, that's why I dropped that Saurus back, as I thought there were always going to be ways to get the Crocs away. Yes. I lost the sound of the game, so I think the game crashed the game. It may well have done, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, no, we're back. Are we? Yeah, no, I'm hearing yes, still yes. some game sounds. I don't see I a move that's other the player than the watch here. Here he comes. Oh, here comes the skink. No, and he's, he's just going to sit beside it. So he's going to be the Saurus. <laughs> well, this is a big ask. 50% dodge with a reroll. Otherwise, all it's done is add another two die, not needing skulls. And another two plus to Jimmy. He just blitzes out sideways, and he's just two plus, two plus home. I mean, yes, but the blitz with oh, and he has to roll this, and oh he gets god. there. Oh my god! Does he make the hit? No, no. A reroll? No, the reroll, the extra reroll of cheering fans. Does he have a real actual re-roll for that? Yes, yes, he, yes, he was an does. actual real re-roll. It's done. It's a dice-off. I, I lose track. You know, it used to be such a simple game, Blood Bowl. 
No, you have to make half it in your head even if you're playing a computer game. I find. And whoever easy. was asking why you keep the rerolls for so long or this? Yeah, that's because right. you can use more than one reroll per turn, and those two rerolls gave Junior 84 the chance of passing to the next stage. There you are. Lost because of the fucking extra reroll. What a mother! And I had a cheerleader. I've got a cheerleader on my team because I don't have the. Uh, well, not a cheerleader. Assistant coach, isn't it? It's not cheering fans. It's it's brilliant coaching. I've got an assistant coach because I didn't get the bloody uh, troll slayer. <laughs> if you can believe all, it. Yeah, we've all been here two hours and completely wasted our time. You could have just flipped a coin. Yep. Yep. He can't score. Oh, he can score with the Saurus, right? The Saurus can score. He got the extra roll in the kickoff of the overtime. Yeah. So, as legal, you know, because there are people in chat saying that you weren't allowed to use extra roll, it was as legal as it can be. Yeah. Well, it was legal, Gov. It's never the best excuse, is it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm leaving no. it exactly there, Jimmy. I'm going no further with that thought. Thank you. No, but in a competition, that's what matters. Yes. I mean, I consider absolutely moral playing with lizards. I mean, I was talking about tax avoidance. Definitely. <laughs> right. Um, so he's out of range. I'm out of range. Nothing matters. Might as well foul. Just nothing gone. matters. Nothing ever matters. matters. Nothing matters at all. <sighs> Fuck me. And now we're gonna see what happens. Look at this in dramatic this, uh, situation. The, people the used drama. to moan about. Yeah, people used to moan about the uh, the animations for the kicks. In Blood Bowl 2, let's see if you prefer how Blood Bowl 3 game ends after overtime. I can't believe... Uh, he, played, he played pretty bad there as well, didn't he, really? Like, he did. so, some yeah. of the things he did, like that 3-plus for no reason, that ne like that could yeah. have cost him his final reroll that he shouldn't have had. <laughs> yeah. yeah there was, uh, a couple there, of Crocs was... activations I wouldn't have done. Yeah. Mind you, there was a, a two die on the Saurus, which when it was a push, I wouldn't have done it. Jim. Yeah, that was that was really bad. But you know, I was scared of him rolling the five plus and just hitting me, so I wanted a two yeah. die and then one D. Yeah. In the end, but... the five plus got me right. So yeah, it did. In the end, he did get you with the five plus. I had, if I'd got those both those Saurus down, then I could have got behind yes. him, and then he yes. wouldn't have had the five plus in the future. So but it did okay, need both power. Finish, uh, to the main main... We'll never know. But yeah, there we go. Isn't that I a won. better ending? I won. Than all that Victory animation. for Jimmy! Oh my god. Oh, never in doubt. Never in doubt. I always knew he was going to be the result. I've been full confidence that oh. we guys were going oh, to win this game. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh god. Sure. Like yes, the match has finished, <laughs> yeah. Shark. Obviously, it's very good at telling you that. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's I'm... a really obvious moment where it's finished. When the screen the, the comes bailiffs, up, says, the, the bailiffs come with their fire hoses and it shoots everybody out of the stadium, and that's it. Fuck off, go home. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely terrible, yeah, that's it. It, it. It really does say that's it. Fuck off. That is how Blood Bowl <laughs> three ends. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Victory. There you go. Oh, oh you were uh, crying about the fucking animations. Eh? There you go. <laughs> yeah, the animations are meant to be fun as well. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Careful blah, 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 what you wish for. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, the entire match comes out an invisible coin flip, yeah, yeah. And I find when an invisible coin flips, right, I'm I'm pretty good at picking which of the invisible sides it's gonna be. <laughs> as long as so I'm the one flipping the invisible coin. I can only imagine uh, that I can only pray that CNI never never gets into the online casino scene. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been fun, Jim, but uh, I do actually... That phone call I received during your game, um, which everyone laughed at, uh, I do actually have to go and pick my very drunken partner up from the game, <laughs> so perfect timing. Fantastic. Uh, congratulations on a well-won victory. Thank you very much, yeah. I mean, I, I had more chance than him of winning in overtime, didn't I? So, like, I, yeah, I felt okay with winning it on the kicks. So, which was um... definitely nothing to do with them giving you the ball. Yeah, no, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, but, you know, still, <laughs> still, still, I think, I think I played all right overall, I made, I did I, make that one mistake, and I, I feel like he made a few better. mistakes, yeah. I thought he made more mistakes. Yes, I yeah. think uh, Jimmy played better, and uh, he made uh, I did a lovely mistakes. chain. Nothing, yeah. nothing oh, actually horrible died, but in the long run, right. 
there were some uh, situations that uh, some needless uh, actions taken before the actual relevant action, yeah. for example. Yeah, and I mean, I, you know, I got lucky overall, obviously, with the instant cars and stuff, and uh, yeah. but then I hit, but, I hit loads of skinks and did nothing, so that bounced out a little bit, but still, getting absolutely. the instant removal would really help my drive, didn't it? Uh, and I, mean, I, I never beat myself up about mistakes because we all make them. It's you know, Blood Bowl's a very complex game. You're never going to activate everything in the perfect order in the perfect time. Take every decision in a developing turn. You know, absolutely spot on. Well, I've, I've already and, forgiven yeah, myself. I thought you made less than him. No, it's one thing you're very good at, Jim. Like me, you're very realistic about that. It, it, it will never be perfection. We will always aim for it, but never get there. Yeah, there's a, there's a guy you know in the world who he, he's paid one and a half million pound a week to kick a ball around, and he makes mistakes. So if he yep. can make mistakes, then uh, then certainly us playing a game for twelve year olds can make mistakes, can't we? <laughs> I mean, I I do blood bowl for one pound fifty a week, Jim, but no one's offering it nowadays. <laughs> There's no, there's no Twitch market for me watching me play Blood Bowl. No one cares. Diced right, again. I must go and rescue my wife. Well done, sir. <laughs> thank you very much, and thank you very much, Fimir, as well. Absolutely glorious having you guys commentating. Um, and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. And here is the Ben Bar that just followed with and arrived with the first time child message. <laughs> Both of you plays worse than me. All, all right. <laughs> I guess you played better in your head, but I very much doubted. Okay, goodbye, everybody.